Lesson 111, we're going to look at what's called three statements of equality. Uh, we've looked at two statements of equality before, and so now we're going to look at a third statement. So, example one, you should, be, you should be able to get this kind of, I think, in one example, get the concept. It says there were 26 nickels, dimes, and quarters in all. Okay, 26 nickels, dimes, and quarters in all. So, let's first look at this part. And how could we write that as a statement of equality? Well, what we could say is we know that the total sum of all three of these is 26. We have 26 coins. Now, the number of nickels, we don't know. Number of dimes, we don't necessarily know. Number of quarters, we don't know. But we could say all three of them add up to be 26. So there's one statement of equality. Next statement. And I'm going to call that I'm going to call that A. The next statement it says, well, their value was 26. Okay, their value was 26 dollars. Okay, so, or I think I wrote that wrong. Value is two dollars twenty-five cents. Okay, their value is two dollars twenty-five cents. Bye bye. So if I put 2.25 because that's their cost. Well, we know the value of a nickel in relation to $2.25 is 0 0.05 for nickels. A dime is 0 0.1. And a quarter is 0.25. Now, <clears throat> what I am going to do is I'm going to multiply them all by 100 just so I can move the decimals here because I don't like the decimals as much. So this would just be five number of nickels. I'm just moving the decimal over. Plus 10 for dimes. And then 25 for quarters. Equals 225. So hopefully that didn't confuse you. I just literally moved the decimal twice in each one. Okay. Just move the decimal twice. So that's the second statement. Okay, that's A, that's B. And then it gives a third statement. It says, how many coins of each type were there if there were 10 times as many nickels at quarter, as quarters? So the number of quarters, I could say, equals 10 times the number of nickels. And that would be statement C. And now you probably have it from here. Uh, I'm going to make sure I wrote that right. My bad. Ten, number, ten times number of quarters would equal number of nickels. Because ten times as many, uh, ten times as many nickels as quarters. Okay. So now from here you can probably solve. Well, we know what n number of nickels is, so we can plug that in here. And here, so I'm going to move those over. I'm going to say 10 number of quarters plus number of dimes plus number of quarters equals 26. And then 5 times number of quarters equals that. And now... Uh, because I only have two variables, quarters and dimes, I can solve for these. So 5 number of quarters plus 25 number of quarters would be 30. I feel like that was supposed to be something different. 5 is 5 times, 5 times 10, so that should be 50. Fifty. Yeah. My mistake was I didn't plug in ten number of quarters. I just put number of quarters. Anyways, okay. Fifty plus twenty-five, so we get seventy-five there. Sorry for the confusion. Add these together, we'll get eleven number of quarters. Okay. 
Okay. And then however you want to go about solving from there, you can solve. You can uh, you can do substitution, elimination, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 10. So that would give me a negative there, negative 10 there, negative 260 there. Okay. So when I solve, those would cross out. 110, 75, uh, that would be negative 35 equals negative 35. So all that to see that number of quarters equals 1. And I'm going to go ahead and stop there because you can probably figure out, I mean, that would mean number of nickels is 10. Plug that in, so 10, 11, that means number of dimes equals 15 when I plug all that in. So anyways, that's how you do three systems or three statements of equalities. And that's the end of lesson 111.